Hello everyone. And you're not going to believe this, and I have a hard time believing it myself, but I used to be a Cub Scout. That's right. That would not happen today because I'm like one of the most indoor people you're ever going to find on YouTube. But for the time, it wouldn't have been that bad. I would have been a lot younger. It would have been through 2007 to 2012, I think. And if I remember correctly, it went like this. So first grade would have been tigers, second grade would have been wolves, third grade would have been bears, fourth grade would have been Weeblows 1, and fifth grade would have been Weeblows 2. The hell is a Weeblo? Did you, not, did you run out of animals or something? I digress. Um, <clears throat> so... I do have some interesting memories from scouts that I'd like to make an episode about. Obviously nobody's scouting right now because of stupid ass COVID, but... Hey, me, uh, man, it, it, you do need a break from the outdoors. I know people are always saying, get, off your, get your ass off the couch and quit watching TV, go outside and do stuff. But actually, while that is a good point... There is a such thing as too much outdoors as well. So if you do that for too long, you're going to be like, get your ass indoors, get on the couch, and watch some TV. Like, reverse psychology or whatever it's called. Anyways. Um, for you scouts, um, one of the... One, one exciting point of scouts, at least for some people... Is the merit badges. I don't remember how many badges I got sold on in my uniform, but... <coughs> but, uh... Those things are, like... Collecting those things and getting them, you know, on your uniform... That would have been more dope than getting freaking trading cards and collecting those. At least for some people it is. The only difference is that... The good deeds you do it at camp or wherever you are at during the scout period. Um, you have to do good deeds and like accomplish something in order to get those badges. But as for the trading cards, all I gotta do is just buy them. So yeah, I think the badges are a little bit more fulfilling to get if you've accomplished it. But anyways. Now what do I remember from scouts? I would have started there at first grade and went to first grade for two years, so it would have been my second first grade. Um, so during those five years, I remember the Pinewood Derby. Oh, yeah. Um, if you don't know what that is, basically, we would, uh, carve out pieces of wood and stick wheels on there or, you know, design it, decorate it, and put it, we would, uh, race each other, and stuff like that. Now, my designs were always crap. I don't even know where my cars are now, but, um... My designs for the cars so obviously suck crap. But I guess I would have liked them at the time, so it doesn't matter. Um, I remember, like, I remember I actually won, got first place one year. No joke. I don't know how that works. Like, I know that the scouts would be more interesting in the design of their car rather than the shape of it and how the shape is more important than the design of the car and that's what gets you to win rather than just look, making it look cool like I knew I know somebody who had a, like a pencil for a car um yeah that that fat thing uh, it looks it looks cool sure but is it gonna win though 
It's really about the... Kids aren't going to know math when it comes to speed and how the wind will push or pull on the piece of wood. So they, what they care about is the design of the car. I can't really blame them. But somehow, maybe it was my crappy designs that got me to win that one year. Uh, the one that I, I designed five different cars for each year. And... Um, the, the fourth one, I think it was, for 2011, would have been my, when I got number one. And it was like a green Kale Jr. car. Kale Jr. cut the crap out. But anyways. So yeah, that would have been fun, just seeing the cars just go down that ramp and all that. We're talking a little bit about scouts in one day and during one meeting and we found the guy in a book, uh, the guy who invented scouts and he's obviously dead now, but our scoutmaster was like, oh please don't tell me it's from the war. Who knows? But anyways, um, And the scout master was a man, and whatever he would have brought his wife there, and she would have helped out a lot too. I remember his wife was like, back when we were in Bears, would have been like, saying how big we are, you know, because we're in third grade. Um, she was like, oh, you're not tricky tigers, you're not wiggly wolves, you're big bears. And what what would the wee blows be the? wobbly wee blows. I'm just kidding, but but I don't just third graders are not big. You're not gonna see very many third graders that are the size of me. Okay? It, rarely would that be the case. Like you're nine years old. Well anyways. Now I remember going camping and during scouts and well camping is not really my thing these days but um I remember when this we went to this one campground and we were doing some sort of experiment with band-aids or something and it was one of those bring your mom to scouts thing well my mom didn't go it would have been my stepmom but anyways so we were drawing we had a red marker we're drawing on the skin of our moms and some kids were going all out and scribbling all over the arm and making it all seem like it's blood or something that's a bit more than just one band-aid dude I think you'd have to go to the emergency room for that but anyways Um, also I remember bringing my flip camera there, even though the whole point is to have minimal technology there, and, because it's all about the great outdoors, and some crap like that. Um, well, whenever we weren't doing activities, or whenever we were just chilling at our tents or whatever, I would just film videos or something. Um... But, if once I, one day when I, while we were camping, and I had my flip camera out, I turned it on and I found videos that my stepmom had used to record the freaking Pledge of Allegiance or whatever. At the time I would have been pissed, but now it doesn't bother me that much. You see, what I don't understand is, why not use your phone to record? Anyways. I'm pretty sure she had one, so there's really no excuse. But that's not the point. So, we're almost done, but I'd like to say that 
this, what is this? Like, what, what would ever happen to this? Like, when we went to the scouts and we did the pledge, it would always be this for the scouts and everybody else would do this. Which would you rather do? I guess it doesn't matter, but... But, I don't get it. Why do you have two separate salutes? At least it's not the Nazi salute or anything. I mean, that it's far better than that, but still. Alright. <clears throat> now, we're almost done. I think I already said that, didn't I? I don't remember, but... Um, a scout is supposed to be loyal and stuff, but... Some... It was a, I was going to a Christian scout thing, and one kid was, up whenever, whenever we were praying or whatever, some kid would be like, oh God, you're so awesome, uh, please let this school catch on fire. I don't blame you, but if our school catch on fire, we'd have to go to a different school. So, just think about it. Anyways. So, I'm sure I'm missing some important details here, but that's really all I can think about for now. And this has been a good run, so I think I'm just going to end the episode. I will see you guys in the next one. I salute you. I'm just kidding, but you salute me. <laughs> okay, um, um, let's quit, quit messing around. So, I will see you guys in the next episode. If Scott says your thing, hopefully it'll start up soon. I I don't know how, why it's taking them so long to come up with a cure for COVID, but because my cousin has it and we can't see each other. But anyways, we can't see family members or whatever. So, but that, that was this episode. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.